What's going on? I'm JC Mentals back in the studio once again. This week I found a fire sample, went ahead and flipped it. But before we get into the beat this week, I wanted to go ahead and let you know about a couple things from here on out with these videos. If you like the beat, I will be giving away these beats. So the only thing you have to do to get the beat is share the video of the beat that you want, tag me in it when you share it, and comment your email address or you can DM me your email address too as well. Also, I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers, so if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications. That way you guys see when I'm dropping videos. Finally, I have two different loop packs out, 11 loops in each pack, only $10 each. Definitely worth the value. So if you're interested in the loop packs, just DM me or email me, whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and jump into FL Studio and I'll show you what I have for you this week. All right, you guys. So as I said, this week I found a really fire sample, went ahead and flipped it. Um, it's actually from a video game. Uh, so the first thing I did is I had to get it on the grid or in time. Um, and as you can tell, let me zoom in. But as you can tell, there's a piece here in the beginning and it's just empty space. So what I want to go ahead and do is obviously get rid of this and have it come in, you know, where it's supposed to. So that sounds good to me. Let's make sure it's on the grid. So I'll go ahead and turn on the metronome and let's check it out. Yeah, sounds good to me. I already knew it was 78 beats per minute. However, if you didn't know that, and I didn't obviously at first when I first heard this, I just pulled up the tap tempo tapped it in time. When you do that though, make sure you have the sync turned off. That way the sample doesn't stretch as the BPM changes. Back to the sample. I went ahead and chopped pieces of this that I wanted. Let me go ahead and find those real quick. I think it starts here actually. Was it was it here? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this section. So that's the next part right here. And let me see where that goes to. Alright, so I think it ends here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get rid of these pieces. And I think with this one, I only kept four bars of this one too. So this is what I have now with the chops. I actually only used, let me go ahead and chop this again, but I actually only used um, this piece for the verse. And then for the intro, I used uh, this four bars. And then I used the second section uh, for the hook. So the next step that I took was I went ahead and changed the time to 156. Um, however, when doing this, you got to make sure that you have it set to either stretch or generic. I choose generic because it's less CPU heavy. That's just me personally. But, you know, do what you like. So this is the sample. Real simple, I didn't do much to it. I just did an EQ and just took out the low end to make room for the 808. So speaking of the drums, the next things I added were a closed hi-hat and a clap. So this hi-hat actually I just kept real simple. Uh, it's just the two-step pattern 
So this is the clap and the hi-hat with the sample. So the next percussive elements that I added were a snare drum and an open hi-hat. So this is everything so far. And finally, the last things that I added were the kick and the 808. Sometimes I'll add the kick first, sometimes the 808 first. Just depends on, you know, what I already have going on. But anyways, this is everything all together. Let's get into the mixing. So for the sample, as I said, I just added an EQ. Uh, next, I added the Fruity Limiter to the 808. Uh, the next thing I did was I added the Fruity P controller to the kick and sidechained over the 808 to the kick and um, linked the channel so that way I could duck out the 808 volume whenever the kick hits. Uh, next, I just EQ'd the percussion elements uh, did a little bit of panning, put the 808 and the kick in mono, and spread the stereo image of the sample a little bit just so the percussive elements could shine through. So finally, onto the master, I added Fruity Multiband Compressor and Ozone 8 Elements. That is it. So I hope you guys liked everything. If you have any questions, as usual, just let me know in the comments, or if you have any ideas, let me know that as well. I have two different loop packs available, so if you're interested, just email me or DM me, however you want to do it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notifications while you're there, that way you can see when I drop videos. And if you don't know what it is, you should definitely find out, it's JC Mentals. Peace until next time. JC Mantle.